So the Suns went on a run in the second half, cut the deficit to five. You guys called a timeout and then went on a run yourself that mm -hmm. really ultimately proved to be the difference in the game. How big of a sign of maturity and growth was that stretch for you guys? Yeah, I think it just shows, um, you know, the maturation of our team being able to lock in absorb runs you know the NBA is a game of runs teams are going to go on runs everybody's got talent everybody's got a good offensive players so for us to be able to kind of take that first punch and stand our ground stay consistent with what we're doing um, you know try and go out from that that timeout get three stops in a row get good looks offensively and then let everything else flow from there how different does it feel from let's say a season ago uh, you know, in the way in the way you guys responded. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, it's a huge difference. I think um, it's amazing what uh, you know, just a year makes. What adding, you know, an Ed Davis, uh, a Jared Dudley, um, a Shabazz Napier, what what that does, just in terms of, you know, our collective uh, experience. Um, you know, having that leadership, that voice, it just makes things that much easier for us to be, be able to absorb those sorts of uh, experiences. What was the difference on the defensive side of the ball? You guys are great tonight in that area. Um, you know, we did a good job just following the game plan. Um, you know, knowing our personnel, making things tough on them, uh, you know, good individual defensive efforts, and then collectively we just did a good job just limiting their opportunities too. You know, made stuff tough, limited their second uh, chance opportunities, and limited them in transition as well. How good is it to build a little bit of momentum heading into two tough games later this week? Yeah, it's going to be very tough games, uh, Denver, Golden State back-to-back, -back, but, you know, this is what the NBA is. You're going to have, uh, you know, moments in your schedule like this, and, you know, we're going to focus on Denver first and foremost, and, uh, you know, that's where, that's where our mindset's at right now.